Hi and welcome. In this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a MIG Layout Layout Manager. Uh, MIG Layout is created by a single person called Mikhail Grad, and my personal opinion is that uh, this Layout Manager is uh, far superior compared to any other layouts. It's also very similar to Grid Bag Layout. And uh, it can replace any of them except of maybe Car Layout, which is kind of special. Also, MIG Layout is a third-party component, so you'll have to download it from a link I left in the description of this video and add it to BuildPad. And also, like uh, Grid Bag Layout, it uh, treats uh, containers as a grid. So I already created this new class called MLayout, and next thing I'm going to do, I will add my MIG Layout jar to BuildPad. So I'll right-click on my project, go Properties, add external jars and I'll browse for my MIG layout jar. Here it is, okay, and we add it. And uh, in this case I'll also try to create a more challenging situation, unlike in previous tutorial where we positioned only three buttons. In this case uh, I'll try to create a very simple form for employees, for example. So let's start. Um, for Beginning, I'll create a JFrame as usually. And text will be like employees. JPAL. Also, I'm going to create two J labels LBL first name. And text will be first name. I can copy this. Second label will be LBL last name. And last name. Also, let's create two JPEG fields for user input. It will be like 20. This is going to be txt last name. Okay, it will be safe. And also, let's make two J buttons. This is only a mock up application, it won't do anything. It will just demonstrate uh, features of MIG layout. Button create a new J button. And this will be create. And also let's create a button delete. Okay. And let's now let's generate constructor now. And let's set MIG layout for our panel. And here I'm going to pass new instance of my MIG layout class. And I will import MIG layout from net MIG infocom.swing package. Okay. And uh, for now, let's uh, just add these components on panel by passing these instances in add method of our panel. And first component will be LDL first name, txt first name. And LBL last name, txt last name, button create, button delete, and let's add panel on train. Let's call set default close operation method, pass dispose and close. Back method and finally set visible method. Okay, now let's run this to see what we have. And as you can see, all components are positioned horizontally and uh, they are anchored to top left corner of our J panel, which is inside of our J3. But uh, let's try to reposition these components. And for that, I'll have to use uh, so called string attributes. So I'll have to pass those string keywords or attributes 
beside of my instances in add method of my panel. So, for example, I want to position this LBL last name below LBL first name and TXT last name below TXT first name and these buttons in some third row. Okay. And the first uh, string attribute I want to represent you is wrap. And it basically says after TXT first name, begin new row. Position components in new row. And I'll do that same here beside of my txt last. Okay, let's run this. And as you can see, it already looks better. But uh, also, I want to position these buttons below of my text fields. And first thing I have to do is to skip this cell where my button create is. So I'll pass keyword skip. And let's run this. And it looks better, but not so nice also. And uh, next thing I have to do is to create more space in cell where my create button is, so I can put my delete button. So basically I will split this cell where button create is, and uh, that way I'm going to create space for button delete. And I'll say comma and split to keyword. So basically I'll split my cell on two. And here it is, as you can see. Now it looks very nice. Also, for example, what if I want uh, my... Let me run this again. What if, my, what if I want that my components grow like uh, these two text fields? I want to grow if I resize my JFrame. I want them to grow horizontally. And for that purpose, first thing we have to do is to force our cells to grow and then to force our components to grow. And first thing, next argument, actually next attribute I want to represent you is push x. And uh, push x means grow cell horizontally. Okay, you'll see what does, what does it mean. And Next at attribute I want to pass is grow x, and this actually means grow that uh, txt first name grows. Okay, and I'll pass this same for my txt last name. Okay, let's find this. Let's resize our JFrame. And as you can see, our text fields grow horizontally. Okay. Let's also create uh, two additional components, like a tree label for description. LBL D E D S C. Okay. Label. This is going to be description. And let's also create a J text area where we are going to input our description and it will be txa dsc okay jtext area let's import it and it will be 10 by 10. after button delete i'll say wrap so i'll position my j label and jtext area in new row and i'll say panel add lbl desc panel add uh, txa desc actually I'll pass j scroll pane if you watched my tutorial about uh, j text area I said that uh, it's very important to position to add your text area on j scroll pane so first I'm going to pass a new j scroll pane new instance of my j scroll pane class and then I'll pass text area here. Let's see. Okay. Now let's run this. And as you can see, it uh, looks okay, but uh, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> okay. Let's try to, for example, force our text area to grow uh, as I as I resize my 
j frame. And for that, I'll pass two string attributes. And the first attribute will be push, and second will be grow. First attribute means uh, our cell will grow in both horizontally and vertically, and second argument means our component will grow both horizontally and vertically. Okay, now let's run this. And as you can see, when I resize my JFrame, my uh, text area resizes too. But uh, this uh, description label doesn't look really nice here. So let's try to position this uh, label somewhere on top of our cell. And for that, I'll pass new string argument called top. Let's see it. And as you can see, when I resize my JFrame, uh, everything gets resized, but my description label stays on top. So, this is it when it comes to layout managers. See you next time, where we are going to uh, start learning new components. Bye!